What's that? To uh, him coming back more, and also our grand finals coming up. Uma and Blair. Yep. Classic. We, this is Despite the classic. Despite all the uh, <laughs> bracket upsets today, still ended up being uh, we, our we, two favorite heroes here. <laughs> we still come <laughs> back to the, the old reliable. Exactly, exactly. The Puma Glare Grand Finals. Uh, and Glare is getting ready. He's pumping Pump down a, a monster. monster. <laughs> He's getting ready for the the intense gameplay. He's also trying to stay awake if uh, Kuma starts running away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, I have this ready. We got the emote ready just for when Kuma goes off with those back airs. We got it. Control X cut. We're ready to paste it. Rocking that purple Sonic skin. Definitely S tier skin. Oh, S tier. <laughs> That's the no only doubt. one I would use if I ever played Sonic, but I just am brain dead when it comes to that. <laughs> I, feel like. I have I the gross that. opinion of using uh, the yellow one. I like that one. Oh, but no. I, it's it's definitely not a good costume. I, I admit that. I just like it because it's like stylish, like swag. But what's going to be interesting in this set, and this is a recent development in the last couple weeks, Puma's SDI is. Really oh good. Oh my! I know. <laughs> I was so using good. Against him earlier. I couldn't get a single from her. Yep. I mean, Claire definitely a better bayonetta than I am. He's gonna be able to react to that SDI. Mm -hmm. But Kuma, look at that! Look, thirty-six percent with top air out of shield. Don't be surprised when we see Kuma falling out of everything. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be different though if Rage is on deck. But oh, hundred percent. First one is orange. Duffy is one hundred percent correct. Orange is the worst on it. And, ooh, as we're talking about uh, orange outfit, uh, Puma died to a Bale combo. So, he exclaimed, not good. That's not good. It could either be the costume or the DI. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would assume it probably the DI. Yeah, that's he more knows, likely he what knows. he's focused on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is uh, him coming off of waiting for a long time in Winner's Final, so let's see if yeah. uh, D rusts a little bit on yeah, that. Exactly. That yeah, there you go. He's right out. <laughs> it looked like Blair was almost <laughs> waiting for it. Ooh, okay. it's Good already 30. brought back. All right, 30%. That's nothing that Blair can't bring back really quick. Oh, definitely not. And they, these guys go neck and neck a lot. Like, we're, we're very likely to go through five or a reset. Ooh. Nearly gets out. Good mash from Blair. No one can kind of get grabbed on that lane. Yeah. This is a, a tough spot for Kuma, unless he gets like one of those sweet, perfect conversions with up air. Oh, he tried to spring ride him, but there, air dodge. Yep, he's not going to have it. Oh, but he's oh, time not enough. The top. Good SDI. <coughs> Avoiding that kill off the top. This is uh, still a, a range where Kuma's got some pretty spicy conversions if he lands them. Oh, yeah. Um, but at the same time, this is a very dangerous is, yeah, position. Yep, he, he's just going to fall out now. Now let's see what Glare does to get this kill now. Oh, that's oh, that was oh. death, and he waited too. He had it. I think he second-guessed himself. Yeah. Okay. The, the problem is Kuma still doesn't have a great way to get a kill right now. Oh, he's trying to get the Mr. Escobar. He's Ooh, trying for it. It's going to work. <laughs> it's gonna work. It's, that's the sour spot. That, that is... <laughs> All right. He's mixing up. He's throwing out the force match now. All right. Glare takes the first one, but it wasn't a slide for either of them. That was back and forth. For sure. Um, Kuma definitely landed a Mr. Escobar, but... He didn't get the kill. He got a dirty little sour spot. Yeah, uh, that definitely would have been the stock had it been the uh, strong hit there. The, uh, <laughs> the strong foot smell. Oh, yeah. But oh, let's, uh, let's adjust this real quick. But they're going right back. These guys, they like to just kind of stay uncomfortable stages. Kuma, Kuma has a lot of value from the stage. Um, it's going to get him off pressure by going to the platform. It's going to give him some early kills from the platform. So he's oh. going to like it. Oh, the <laughs> devil. Oh. Platform assists definitely. Yeah. Platform assists are definitely going to have it too. Like, I, I think special is a good choice. 
And we're starting this the same way as last one. Like, another conversion right at the beginning. But let's see if we can tie it up like he had last time. Uh, he's, he's bringing it back. He, he's, uh, he doesn't want uh, Blair to run away and feel like he just has him downloaded. <laughs> Doing everything he he's just having fun. He's like, okay, I may be losing to Benny right now, but I'm gonna bounce a couple more times. <laughs> so just watching Koopa so fun sometimes. Like even the beginning of the double four, so it's like he just goes for Oh, and he just goes for that too, whips out the Doom Fist, the big knuckle. And uh it's a totally manageable game right now. Yeah, he's probably going to go for even more throw combos. Uh, up throw Nair is such a, such a good option, and it lingers long enough for air dodge if you do it right. Ooh. 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 Yeah. yeah. SDI not I, through for Kuma You know what? I feel... Yeah, I, I feel like a fool for talking up his SDI. And That's all right. I, I have faith. He'll come yeah. at... He'll get back into it. Because, I mean, we saw it last game. He was falling out of almost every up air. Yeah. Out of the witch. Yeah, I, I, I think he's got we'll see, it. We'll see the adaptation from Kuma, uh, whether it be a set if uh, Blair resets or the set. We can see a reverse 3 We've seen it happen before. Oh, yeah, we have. Uh, honestly, a lot of props for Blair just keeping those conversions perfect. Like, he, he's, he's getting those stock kills. So, we've gotten three ladder just deaths right now. Ooh, ooh. And he, he didn't get... Hundred percent, but it. He almost got that. Oh, oh, he hadn't been using it as much, and now it's coming out. It's working. So. He's got to punish this landing. Yeah, he went for another one. Good DI on that forward. Make sure that he doesn't get the. Ooh, smart down smash. I'm a little worried that. Ooh. I'm a little worried that at this percent it could be a really early up air. But I think they're cl they're crawling out of that percentage now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they're gonna have to go with uh, different ways to kill. I think Kuma's gonna be looking for back air, uh, maybe a reverse air rush. I think Kuma's also gonna be looking for an S smash when they're ledged. Uh, or he's gonna try to grind it for a throw. Uh, but Glare definitely has more options, I think, to get the kill. Like, I think a lot of scenarios and disadvantages for Puma are potential deaths, whether it's holding that nair, whether it's up air, back air. He's definitely at a percent for any conversion of the kill. Yeah, but Puma's going to definitely want to force it to the, the corner, because that's where Puma's kills exist. Yeah. 140% approaching forward for kill. Yep, he's going to go for that F-Smash. And this is an awkward position for him, because he's he want to get in. Ooh. Saving him there. Am I gonna throw him off the stage control? He's just a barely able to hurt kill, but that was good. <laughs> jab. Just, just punish him with jab. That was probably not what he wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess he probably wanted four kill. Look back here. Yeah, that's a past. that's a Mr. Escobar. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've been waiting for that one. Uh, what's the optimal way to SDI those combos at high percent? Um, it kind of depends on what position you're in. She's going to try to kill you off the top, and you get hit by a Witch Twist in, in like the top of the blast zone. You're either going to want to SDI hard down so that you fall out at the bottom and the up air doesn't kill you off the top earlier, or you're going to try to SDI up and away just enough so that you drop out of the combo, but not enough to SDI into the blast zone and die from the rage. Yeah, I definitely want to say you want to be careful SDIing when you're really high up. You don't want to SDI up when you're Possibly like rage percents and high percents, you don't want to necessarily kill yourself for free. Exactly. Um, so it really if you're, depends. Yeah, I think the it's although it's hard, I think one of the best things you can do is sideways SDI, and if you can ideally get ooh, good ledge guard. That is great player, from player. I love that. Air. Not something you see very often. That's a that's a reset right there. That is like throwing Kuma deal. into losers. Uh, Kuma definitely has some adaptations to make, but being the top player he is, we know we'll see them. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, this is a uh, loser bracket glare is coming through. He's yeah. demon out of hell right here. 
Uh, Kuma's definitely going to have to adapt quick because those games, although they weren't stomps, it looks it looked like uh, Kuma's game plan wasn't fully solidified. Because in, in other sets, we've seen him run away from the player sometimes. Yeah, but it looks like they're sticking to Smash, though. Don't really need to see much. That trade was uh, definitely in player's favor. Yeah. Sensor pretty even right now. Uh, it's a tough spot where they're just slugging at each other. They're yeah. both hitting, picking hitboxes for their, their offense. I like the way Blair uses uh, heal slide. Not in neutral so much, but when he's in advantage and looking for a tech option. Mm -hmm. Good, I'm glad he did not be in waste of his advantage. That was very smart just to like chill for a little bit. Because it, the obvious thing is like, oh, he's going to try to get like greedy options off of it. No, he, he waits. I like that retaliation. Ooh, that was a that's a whiff right there. That was a <laughs> definitely accident. <laughs> that that's an oops right there. Yep. Wow, uh, awesome reaction from the player. Yeah. Punishing <laughs> Holy crap. Spot dodge perfectly. Even doing now. Um, I can't let that get to me. Now. He's playing solid and he's gonna continue to play solid. Yeah. Punishing that heal slide. 46% real quick. And now I kind of want to see Kuma back off a little bit and not approach so much. Like landing with that accurate there, not necessary. Yeah, I, I definitely think he should push advantage when he has in this position where uh, Glare's off stage or cornered, but definitely like cool off a little bit in the mid. Exactly. Like right like here, right cool here. off. Oh, yeah. but he, he made it in. Okay. I feel like he's definitely punishing things well, so he's confident in that. Yeah. And but you know, at this point, like, you see these conversions of Blair lead to so much damage. Almost to kill off Ooh, the top. Good air dodge. He tried to punish that just off the mark of that forward smash. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't a lot of those forward smashes, but I like it, down throw for stage control. Yep. Throwing out that Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the F smash is the wind con. Ooh, Ooh, almost death, but... That was in. Ooh, and pops the balloon. <laughs> My man, Sinai Glare, taking that out. <laughs> so I want to see how Kuma decides to try to take out this stock here. We're talking about 130. He definitely doesn't want to overcommit. Um, die to Bayo. Yeah, oh. Ooh, like yeah. right there, that's what I mean. Yep, dies to Bayo. Good conversion from uh, Glare, though, reacting to his SDI and just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every time. He, he's giving him that air dodge. He's waiting for it now, so that's a good ad adaptation from Glare. Yeah, he saw the, the stress fracture forming in Kuma in those like tight situations where it's like, I could die if I know air dodge, but air dodge might be the right option, and then Kuma's picking air dodge. Yeah. And Glare has been very smart about keying into that. Um, but I, honestly, that game was really close, and I, I think the key is to maybe back off when it's uh, back off in maybe some of these middle scenarios because Glare, they're, they're both hitting a lot of buttons. Yeah. Um, like, in these scenarios, they're liking to trade, they're liking to take a hit and then get hit. Yeah, these, these low misses, it's, I don't know if it's in Kuma's favor. I mean, when he gets a like string off it, yeah. Because when he gets the strings off and he continues to go in and then he gets punished, he's dying a lot for it because... Glare, as we said, has been really good about his 50, 50 setups. Yeah. Definitely convert. See, like, even right there. Yeah, I'm glad he just uh, reset. You don't want to land in him. I would have even maybe gone for the platform. Like, that's maybe the same grace with the stage as Sonic, that you like can kind of just land there. Sonic is definitely going on a lot of Oh, nice. Good conversion. There we go. And now, here is where I want to see Kuma. Yeah, I want to keep bit this lead. Keep that lead and just play your game. Don't like glaring. Don't let him get his conversion because he will get a lot of yep. right here. It's gonna it might not, not be, gonna be enough. Yeah. Because we, we saw some good uh, SDI down, and so it kind of messed up that, that combo. See, like there's the time, and that's gonna be a <laughs> that's gonna be just for reassurance. Yeah, Glare just kind of want to beat up that body a little bit. <laughs> This is not a bad uh, percent because there's going to be a lot of maybe four combos from this. 
Um, Ooh, yes. I don't know if back air or back throw would have been a good option. Uh, it wouldn't have killed, and I don't think he was getting enough on the ledge to warrant it. Because uh, even though he has been throwing up F smash, then I don't think that's a bad idea. We haven't landed any, so I think going for the the juggle snare, which he's been great at, was smart. And that's yeah. gonna be game two. It looks like Glare is getting a lot of these single hit reverses, and he's getting a lot of conversions off that. And yeah. back when we first started seeing those like rise up in the meta, I was like. The first Bayonetta, who can consistently use that single twist twist, is going to cause a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of pain. <laughs> and Blair is... We're seeing it right now. I can almost say it's... It looks like he's doing that works, and that is terrifying. Oh, yeah. You can't do anything about it. You can't SDI out of that. You just have to take that damage. And even at the percent he was at, Kuma was at 56. Yeah. And that's just... It, it not only hurts in game, oh. ooh, sour spot. That is, that is the sour spot right there. That is that is the sour spot there we never get to see. Here but we go. This is a definitely uh, going aggressively. Not out. And, and you're right. Like I definitely think the first hit uh, of these are definitely intentional. But Kuma's just gonna say, I'm just not gonna slug it right now. I'm gonna hurt the things that are true. I'm gonna keep doing them. Exactly. He's right here. Yeah. He's. I think he's, we're seeing a little bit more from Kuma that we've been wanting to see. I'm seeing a lot from Flair. Yeah. And Kuma's charging the forward smash just for a little bit and then releasing it just too early. Yeah. He's confident. But he definitely got the reach. He's definitely got... See, like, even there, like, the drop down, the forward smash would have covered that, too. Yeah, so could have punched that fair yeah, right out of the sky. There, that's there, the there it is. So we've seen Flair uh, in this position before. Kuma. Definitely gonna try to take that stock as soon as possible. Does not want to play it. Yeah. Definitely Kuma. wants to play his game. Yeah, his uh, adaptation earlier in that first stock. I want to see it more now that he's got the stock lead. Because when he does, he's gonna he's gonna hold that for a long time. Um, so like right here, he's got to see what Glaze's doing. Don't commit too hard. Yep. So wait, land, shield that backer. Kind of run around for set. And this is how Sonic have to play the matchup. You gotta get that first kill. You gotta be smart about, it, and then you gotta just keep keep advantage. Not to not to necessarily run away from the Bayonetta, but well, look at this percent that Kuma has right here. Instead of going for that aggressive option, I would have liked to see a down throw and grab that stage. Yeah. Just keep him at the ledge. Right now, where he is, he's in a good position to keep him there. And, and he's and got a great amount of rage. And not have to overcome the so. Interesting. I think he's there, like back throw, or even forward Yeah, I think he's saving back throw at this point. Like he, he made two points where he could have, and he didn't. Yeah. So I think it's very intentional. Right here, he's he's conditioning your ledge off. He's just seeing what he's gonna do. Forward air, almost killing. Never see that. This is a really scary spot because I don't even think F smash is the thing that's gonna come out. I think it's gonna be the hard to react to grabs see, or reverse air rush back air. Lay back, Lay just wait. Play your game. Yep, more throws. This this is this is his strat. He's, at this point, he's like, I can win just from doing and safe stuff. Forward to look. That's a two stock. Kuma playing very patiently, getting the most out of his conversion. It's not overextending. Edge. Now, the real question is, Glare's up two to one right now. Yeah. Glare needs one more game. Does the adaptation come through from Glare? And will he take it? Or does Kuma reverse three up? That's tough to say. I, I think it depends if they're going to change stage. Which and it looks like they are. looks like Lair's definitely going to try to end this right now. But yeah. Kuma, when he has my ultimate, we talked about that earlier. He's better than the base player. Yeah. I, I think this is a, maybe a double-edged sword that might actually be in Kuma's favor for this. Um, while we're definitely seeing a lot of kills off the top from the ladder combos, and they're really consistent with getting a full kill on Kuma. Um, this is giving Kuma a lot more stage to run away, and that's the play that we need to see. Oh my goodness. Still oh, he's still alive, though. That was a, a hefty amount of damage. See, that's the SDI I was talking about, where you SDI now. Mm -hmm. Really hard, so he didn't die to the other way Yeah, it's really important. Ooh, calling out there. Yeah, and he read that. This is potentially stock uh, set point, possibly. This is going to be a big Yep. Yep, he, he got like through. Like, the downward angle to kick there to try to continue the combo, knowing that it was SDI down. Yeah, and we've seen it work earlier in the set. That was smart. That was going to say, I don't care about it. <laughs> exactly. So, 
still, he's 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 reading it right, just timing it. Ooh, and that's, that's the kind of talking about. It, it's that's so the intentional. Thing. It's he's he's not just whiff like throwing those out for candy. It, you could maybe make you a case for that. The reverses, though, like they're definitely there. Definitely I, intentional. I gotta I, I gotta ask him. I really do. Let's